Well, joining us now from central London is the British soprano, Anna Patillon. Good morning, Anna. Good morning. Is this a nightmare for you too? It really is. I think the uncertainty surrounding the whole issue is um, what's causing people the most problems. There's been no announcement to see, to say whether we can even actually continue working. Obviously, travel is a different matter. Travelling for tourism is, is a different case altogether, but travelling for working, um, there's been no announcement made at all. So what are you going to do about it? Well, the Incorporated Society of Musicians, with whom I'm an ambassador on their Save Music campaign, have put forward uh, a number of thoughtful proposals to the government, including a two-year visa, uh, which will allow, hopefully, musicians to apply and obtain a visa for two years rather than applying for every individual project, which will hopefully be less costly um, and less time-consuming in terms of paperwork. There's been a lot of talk, hasn't there, about the different people who are going to be affected by uh, a no-deal Brexit. We've heard a lot about uh, fishermen, heard a lot about farmers. Uh, do you feel that performing artists have had a look in at all in terms of the overall level of concern? Well, I, I don't think so, really. And, and given that uh, the music industry is, is worth uh, comparable on a par with the agriculture industry and the car industry, very little, actually, I think, has been said of it in the, uh, the, the media. Um, I, th I think it's important to remember that um, musicians on average earn under £21,000 and so the costs of uh, Brexit, particularly a no-deal Brexit, is going to hit them really hard. Is it prohibitive for you? Would you have to make some pretty tough choices if you're faced with that cost? Well, yeah, I, I mean, I think so. You know, um, working patterns for all musicians, I think, have, have changed considerably since 2016. Um, we've seen contracts being withdrawn first uh, after the 29th of March and then, uh, then being withdrawn uh, after the 31st of October. Uh, companies are slower to book. Um, our future really hangs in the balance of of what happens and, and what can be agreed. All right, I'm afraid we've got to leave it there as we're tight for time. Anna Patalong, very good to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.